It's a beautiful day at Mills Motors, 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. This is the 2018 GMC Acadia SLT2 all-wheel drive in the Ebony Twilight Metallic 3.6 liter dock direct inject V6 engine 6-speed six automatic transmission. All right, let's get to the nitty-gritty of this 2018 GMC Acadia all-wheel drive. See what's included and where everything's located. We're going to start over here on the left of the driver's side. You guys have a power-adjustable seat with lumbar support. Those GMC-branded premium floor mats. Bose premium audio here. Sounds great. And you'll also have your interior liftgate release there. Power windows, locks, and heated power mirrors, and yes, you do have memory seats and memory mirrors in this one. You also have a driver blind spot information system. So this icon right there, it's going to illuminate when you've got somebody in your blind spot, so it's going to save you some sort of grief down the road. Got your electronic parking brake here. And on the inside, nice leather-wrapped steering wheel. Forward collision warning there for you, one of the many safety features. And we also have our cruise control. Back here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, there's some toggles there to save and scroll through some favorite radio stations. Headlights, turn signals, and intermittent wipers located on the left. And on the right-hand side, you'll find your hands-free calling and voice command, driver information center menu, and you can uh, play with the tunes right here. Crank up the sound, turn it back down again while keeping your hands on the steering wheel at all times with those toggles back there. At your headlights and turn signals, Intermittent wipers, including rear wipers, are over here on the right-hand side. That's just the wipers, yes. And we have a push-start ignition, so all you need to do to put your foot on here, start up and kill the engine, put your foot on the brake, press this button right there, and you are going to engage or disengage the engine. Now let's go to our IntelliLink screen. 8-inch full-color touchscreen with AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, time and temperature display. You got projection there for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto all ready to go onboard navigation how about that anywhere you want to go this is going to take you and you don't have to worry about it falling off a suction cup on your windshield like those old units used to and another feature i love here is on the next page you've got the traffic icon so you can find out where the troubled spots on the road are and plan your trip accordingly and we also have the camera there that's going to operate when you're moving at low speeds up to about six kilometers an hour and of course it's going to help out with the uh, parking situations here this is the rear view backup camera and this will stay on the entire time that you are in reverse and you've also got all uh, ultrasonic parking sensors in this one so as soon as i threw that into reverse i got a seat vibration to let me know there's something behind me and in this case it's the fence there and the curb and again seat vibration to just uh, make me pay a little bit closer attention SMS text messaging, the full range of OnStar services, and tri-zone climate control. Now here is the rear controls. You can allow the passengers in the second row to select their temperature, or you can uh, lock them out and do so yourself. You can control the temperature that they're going to get back there. Full range of OnStar services, and down below we have our AC button. Temperature controls for the front, and yes, it is automatic temperature control. Really crank things up warm here over on the passenger side. I'm still a little bit more moderate over here. Or if I hit sync, it's going to revert to whatever the uh, driver has selected as the uh, most desirable temperature. Front and rear defrosters, fan speed operator, and below a place to rest a device. And you got a pair of USB ports and auxiliary there. 12 volt power and heated seats both driver and passenger side. I've got those heated seats going right now. It feels quite nice. And you got your traction control and hazards. Pair of cup holders here. Knows the uh, ultrasonic parking sensors on and off switch, and you have the lane keep assist system to uh, keep you in your lanes. Four wheel drive, sport mode, off mode, and trailering mode, and the trailering package included in this uh, Acadia. And of course, all wheel drive coming to you with this vehicle. Got your armrest right here. It's going to pop up, and on the inside, more storage space. All leather upholstery continuing, perforated leather seats, power windows and locks over here on the passenger side, and a large glove box. 
OnStar services available to you right there just above the rear view mirror and you also have the garage door opener selectors, interior LED lighting, a little bit of sunglass storage space there for you and final thing here let's take a look at the rear at the full powered rather slide and tilt sunroof. There's the slide function and the tilt also within arm's reach of the driver very safe and there's the tilt and the slide function and uh, demonstration for you. Close those up and I'm going to pull the sunscreen back you can utilize that if you didn't want that extra light coming in. All right, because this is a push start ignition, I'm going to show you now how to disengage the engine. I got my foot on the brake. I'm going to press this button right here. And when you do, you get the rear seat reminder. I'm going to jump into the rear hub of this vehicle in just a second and show you all the space that you've got for cargo. But uh, first, let's check out these 20 inch aluminum wheels. Got the Michelin, all season tires, wheel locks installed. Got your SLT badging right there and roof racks installed above so you can uh, really optimize that amount of cargo space. All right, so to get into this one, I showed you already where the uh, interior liftgate release button is, but I'm going to use the key fob here. As you'll see, you also have remote start. You're going to hold down the key fob, press it twice, and that lift gate is going to open up nice and wide. And there is a look into the back of this Acadia. We've got the third row seating down right now just to demonstrate how much space you have available to you. And I'll put those seats up in just a second just to show you that. But I wanted to show, first of all, you got the 12 volt power here. Cargo hook tie downs located both left and right, front and back. More storage space here on the side. And yeah, you guessed it, more under there. All right, so to put the second row seats down, they're going to fold down nice and flat as well. All you need to do. Watch this, it's going to reach in. There's two different tabs. I'm going to pull this one here, and that one's going to fall down nice and flat. So, of course, both sides will do the same thing. It's going to give you a ton of passenger versus cargo potential. And I'm going to put the seat back up again now, the third row. So all I'm going to do is grab a hold of this, pull forward. You put them down the same way. Grab that tether and give a push. All right, see how simple that was? And I have uh, one hand on the camera here the entire time. I'm just going to reach in and put the seats back up again. All right, so there you go. I mean, that's the amount of space available to when you've got the third row seating up. And to close this up, you can use the key fob again or just reach up, press this button here, and down it comes nice and smooth. And check out the second row of seating now. You have body colored mirror caps here, and you also have the smart key access system. Door is currently locked, but because I have a key fob in my pocket, all I need to do is press that button once, and you are in. As long as that's in your back pocket, as long as it's in your bag, your pocket, within a few feet of the car, there'll be no issues getting in and out with just the touch of a button. So you got the all leather upholstery continuing once again. You got those uh, captain's chairs there in the back, room for six passengers in total. Power windows and nice deep tinted glass to keep things cooler in those summer months. And you got the full coverage, premium floor mats continuing back here, and rear heated seats in that second row. Gotta love that. Temperature controls, three prong power, and a pair of USB ports. And you also have uh, some sliding storage there. Showed you how to put those seats down from the rear of the vehicle in order to do so from the second row. Simple. Just pull that lever up and they're going to fall down nice and flat just like so. Put them back in position. Again, one hand on the camera. Just pick them up, push them back. Now to get into the third row, split bench seat. Listen, if you're a little kid, first of all, I don't know why you're watching this video. You should be watching Paw Patrol or something. You can just walk through here and jump into that seat. But if you're an adult, a larger kid, you know you're not that adventurous, right? So I'm just going to grab a hold here and pull for it. There you go. And that's going to give you a wide entry berth there into that third row split bench seat, which we'll take a look at now. Cup holders on both sides, and you also have a USB port back there. And located above, you've got that fixed moonroof. Uh, this one with a sunshade to pull close, and this one does not open like the sunroof in the front, but uh, lots of glorious daylight coming in there. All right, so to put this back in position to hit the road with your passengers again, so simple. 
push forward, and now you're ready to go. All right, there's your 2018 GMC Acadia SLT all-wheel drive in the Ebony Twilight Metallic with the safety and connectivity of OnStar and its own 4G LTE wireless hotspot. If you want to give this one a test drive, come on down to Mills Motors. You'll find us at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and you'll also find that we always do whatever it takes.